But finding beauty is a whole other thing. Beauty is where, the, where, where, as artists, we really rub against each other because beauty is where we find the, the discussion turning much more to the subjective side of things. Does it matter? Trevor, isn't everything just beautiful? Doesn't, isn't everything we see out in the world really beautiful at the end of the day? And I think that aesthetically, beauty is one of the hardest things to talk about. We, there's schools all over this. This is something that has been going on for thousands of years this wrestling with what is beautiful, what is beauty. And we don't have, there is no answer. There is no answer that, that I can give. If even I can't open up my Bible and find a passage that says, yes, there it is. That's what is truly beautiful. It says it in this verse, this passage. And uh, what that means is that everything that doesn't fit this is no longer beautiful. There is that, that doesn't exist. We have the sort of human responsibility, the freedom to find beauty out in our midst, to find, to take this Beethoven piece, find it, discover it, and wrestle with what's beautiful about it. I think the easiest, and, and maybe not the easiest, but, but the way to first begin to approach this question of does it matter, does beauty matter to our humanity is, is, is to ask, as we've been, as I've been saying, like, what is beauty? But then to define beauty by, by these other two things, goodness and truth. I can know what truth is. Truth is something that can be known. It is not a nebulous, sort of amorphous thing floating out in the ether that it's up to anybody to just sort of grab and find for themselves. That there really is, there is hard fact, there is truth. It can be known. And it can be known both in the observation of nature, the, the quantification of of figures and statistics and, and gravitational pulls and, and the things that, that science discovers, we can know, like I said, it's true that this. We also can find truth about what it means to be human in the human experience through art as it shows us more of who we are, as it is a mirror for us, and we can find it in the person of Jesus as, as well. What does it mean to be human? What does it mean uh, to know the truth? And goodness is, is also something that, that can be known. Well, we, there is, as, a, as we appeal to all the time in, in ethics, in our social and legal systems, um, the, the sense of goodness, that there is goodness, there is badness, if that's the, the right contradiction. There is the good, there is the evil, they exist, they're real, they're tangible, and I, I can know what they are. I can know what they are just because I know. I can know what they are because I can look at the Bible and I can read about what is good, what is not good. And at the same time, if I take those two things and I say, well, what is not beautiful are things that are not good and not true. That's not beautiful. Beautiful beauty is the presence of goodness and truth in something. Um, Beauty is discovering for yourself this idea that, that there's a world that ought to be out there. It's not right here all the time. We encounter the suffering. We encounter the tragedy. And so it's not ever present. But it is here. There are moments. There are moments in Beethoven's piece. He's wrestling with the world that is, the suffering that is in the moment, and he's also pointing us to the hope of the world that ought to be. Um, and so beauty is the moving towards the world that ought to be. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.